Marvel's Werewolf by Night writer has revealed that when it came to what characters were allowed in Werewolf by Night, Marvel Studios was very on hand, and they had to authorize the use of every single character and easter egg. Which really isn't surprising because, um, that's how everybody operates. So this comes at us from one of the writers of Werewolf by Night, whose name is Heather Quinn. And she talks about working on the project, how she approached it, and also how they came upon using Man-Thing. And essentially what she reveals is they started from the ground up just understanding the basics of what the Halloween special at the time was all about. And then they started to incorporate the basic idea of writing Elsa Bloodstone in there. And then they turned up the idea of having some sort of knight that features hunting. Marvel Studios then allowed them to use Man-Thing while they were trying to figure out what direction they could go in and what other additional supernatural characters they could use. She reveals that essentially they had a encyclopedia and they went one by one looking at all the characters that were associated with Werewolf by Night and characters that are related to that side of the Marvel Universe. Ghost Rider, Man-Thing, countless others. And essentially all the easter eggs we see like the Wendigo, the Nosferatu vampire, obviously the characters in it, were all hand-selected and had to be authorized by Marvel in case there were other plans. Which isn't really surprising. We know that this is how Marvel Studios and Disney and really everybody operates. I mean, WB operates like this as well. They have to authorize specific writers, directors, executive producers to talk to one another and then kind of choose who goes where, what happens where, and in favor of having things line up sometimes a character is completely embargoed and locked away again we keep hearing that ghost rider is one of these characters and there was early reports that he would be appearing in this but ultimately we know he didn't so it's probably one of the characters that got the cut but at the same time we know that they were authorized man thing because there's plans for the character so i guess it's one of those scenarios where you win some, you lose some, and ultimately, I think, Werewolf by Night, one of my favorite projects from Phase 4. I think turned out exactly how everybody hoped it would turn out. Probably better than most people thought it was going to turn out, honestly. So, I think things worked out for the best, and having some other characters that they might have requested probably could have hindered the end result. 